Hello and welcome to Code Tutorials. In this video, we're going to talk about updating the Stockholm theme along with updating the plugins that come bundled with Stockholm. So, first of all, to check whether you're using the latest version of Stockholm, you should navigate to Appearance, Themes. And over here, click on Theme Details. Up here, you will see the version of Stockholm that you have on your site. Now, next, you will want to open up the Themes Update Log. You can view it on Stockholm's page on Theme Forest. So, the same page where you purchase the theme. I'll leave you a link in the description below. So, find the Update Log section on this page. And at the top of it, you will see the latest version of Stockholm. At the moment of making this video, it is 6.6. .6. So, if the version you're running on your site is older than the one you see in the update log, then you should update your copy of Stockholm. It's important to work with the latest version of your theme and plugins, as this lets you enjoy new features, better security, patches for potential bugs, and so on. Now, before you can update your theme, there are a couple of things you should do. And we're going to go over them now. We can close this. Alright? For starters, you need to have the latest version of the Stockholm Core plugin installed and active. And the same applies to all the plugins required by the theme. Also, we recommend performing a full site backup. If you need help with that, I'm going to leave you a link to an article in the description section. Now, there are two different ways you can update your site. You can do it via the Envato Market plugin, or you can do it manually via FTP. So, in the following section, we will go over updating your site using the Envato Market plugin. I'm going to navigate to Plugins in my dashboard menu. And over here it says this theme requires the following plugins. And one of those plugins is Envato Market. I can install this plugin using the link below that says Begin Installing Plugins. If for some reason you don't see this message notifying you about Envato Market, you can also find this plugin by going to Appearance, Install Plugins. And then you can install Envato Market from here. The installation process should be quick, so just wait until you see a message saying all installations have been completed. Then we can return to the Plugins page to activate Envato Market. Just click the link and that's it. Now I'll go to Dashboard so that my options get refreshed. And now we can see there is an auto market in our menu. Let's open it up. Now over here you should go ahead and follow these instructions for setting up an auto market. You will need to generate a token and after entering it in this field here and saving changes, you will be able to update your site using the Envato Market plugin. Now over here in this link, this is the official plugin documentation. And they have a step-by-step -step guide on how to use the Envato Market plugin and how to update your site with it. Now I'm not going to go over this setup process in this tutorial, but I will leave you a link to this page under the video description. So if you want to use Envato Market to update your theme, you can go ahead and work through these steps. In the following section, we're going to talk about updating your theme manually via FTP. So, if you're using Envato Market to update your site, you can go ahead and skip to the last section of this video in which we cover plugin updates. This is very important, especially if you're using older versions of Stockholm prior to version 6.0 and you're updating to version 6 or higher. Then you should skip to the last section of the video and update your plugins. Now, first of all, I will navigate to Theme Forest and then I'm going to go to my Downloads page. Then I'm going to find Stockholm and click on Download and then select the Installable WordPress File Only option. When that file downloads, I'm going to navigate to my desktop where it's saved and open it. Inside, there's a folder called Stockholm which I need to extract as this is the update file I want to upload to my server. Now, there are several ways you can upload this file to your server. You can do that through your hosting control panel, or you can do it through FTP. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do it through FTP. So, first of all, you will need to have an FTP client such as FileZilla. If you don't have FileZilla, you can find it by googling FileZilla, or go straight to FileZilla-project.org to download it. This is the site you need, and you can download FileZilla with a simple button click. Remember, you'll need a FileZilla client, not server. 
And as I already have it installed, I can just open it now. Uh, to access the server, you will need to enter your host, your username and your password information here. If you're not sure what these are, you can ask your hosting provider for this information. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to my server. Over here on the right hand side, you will see your server directories. You want to navigate to your themes directory. So click on WP content and then click on themes. Now over here you will see a list of themes that you have installed on your site. And as we can see, I have Stockholm installed. Then over on the left hand side where your local directories are, you will want to navigate to the place where you extracted the Stockholm update file. For me, that's the desktop. If you already had your FTP client open and can't see the extracted file, simply refresh the view and it will appear. When you found it, select the Stockholm file, right click and select upload. This will upload the theme update from our computer to the server. Yes, I want to override the older version of Stockholm. The upload can take up to a few minutes, so be patient until it's done. The files have now successfully transferred, so I can get back to my WordPress dashboard. Once there, I'm going to click on Dashboard as a way to refresh my view. And then I can check whether the update is visible now. I'll do that by going to Appearance, Themes, and then opening Theme Details for Stockholm. Yes, there it is. I can see my site is now running Stockholm version 6.6. .6. If you recall the changelog from Envato, 6.6 .6 is the very latest version. That means I'm done. My theme is updated and I'm ready to go update my plugins. To do that, let's navigate to the plugins section. In this part of the video, we're going to talk about how to update your plugins. So when your site is running the latest version of your theme, you need to follow that up with updating the required plugins so that everything can work as it should. This is especially important for the Stockholm Core plugin. So when you're in the plugin section, you'll see a notice at the top letting you know which updates are available. You can also see which plugins require updates by scrolling through the list of your installed plugins. That way down here you can see that Stockholm Core requires an update. And that Slider Evolution also needs one. And if we go further down, we can see WP Bakery has an update required link as well. So you can use this link with each plugin to update them one by one. Alternatively, you can go back up to the notice on updates and use the begin installing plugins option. Using this option is the same as going to appearance, install plugins. In both cases, you get this list showing only plugins that have available updates. You can then select which plugins you want to update by ticking the box next to each one. For example, you might not need Elementor if you're using WP Bakery or vice versa. So it's good to have the option to pick and choose. Since this is just a demonstration, I can select all for updating and then use bulk actions to update them all simultaneously. The processing time may be a bit longer, but you save yourself some effort. Of course, if for some reason bulk actions don't work for you, you can always update the plugins individually. You'll know the process is done when the list becomes empty. Then if you go back to plugins, the notice at the top will be gone and if you scroll down to the plugins that were asking for an update, you'll see that they are all clear now. And as you go through the list, all the plugins should be free of the update required link. So if all your plugins are done, your theme was already updated, then you're done. Congrats! However, if you run into any issues, in the following part of this video we'll be taking a look at the most common update issues and how to troubleshoot them. If one of the plugins you tried to update failed to complete this process, you'll know because there'll be a message like this, or you'll keep seeing a message saying active requires update, then you should delete the plugin that's having trouble and install it again. To do that, go to plugins. Then find the plugin that's having the issue. For me, that's WP Bakery. And deactivate it. When it's deactivated, you can delete it. OK, I'm sure. Then go to Dashboard to refresh your options. And once again, go to Appearance and then Install Plugins. Click to install the plugin. Give it a sec, this might take a bit. 
When you see the message saying plugin installed successfully, you can return to the plugins installer and activate your plugin. Following that, you can go to the plugin section to check on your plugin. We can see here that WP Bakery is present, active, and has no warning messages. Moreover, it's running its latest version. Now, in case you were worrying about this, when deleting plugins, losing content that you created with those plugins is not a concern. All that content is safely stored in your database, which, just like your site, you should occasionally back up. Also, keep in mind that we're talking about plugins that were bundled with the Stockholm theme. If you delete one of them, you'll always be able to reinstall it thanks to the theme. However, this does not apply to any other plugins that you purchased and installed. If you're having difficulties with those, please contact the plugin developers directly. Another possible error you can get when you try to update the plugins is a message saying destination folder already exists. This can happen if, say, your request timed out. What you need to do in this case is delete the plugin folder on your server and then you will be able to install an updated version of the plugin. So let me show you how to do that. In order to delete the plugin from your server, you will need to use an FTP client, such as FileZilla, which we already talked about. Now I'm going to connect to my server so that I can access my site files. Over here on the right, navigate to WP Content and then Plugins. So I'm trying to update the WP Bakery plugin, which means I need to find its folder. I'm going to use the window below to do that. And this is the folder I need, JS Composer. Most plugins have the same folder name as their actual name, but WP Bakery's full name is WP Bakery Visual Composer, so the second part of its name is what we have here. Now that I've found the folder, I'm going to delete it. Right-click, select Delete, and Confirm. This way I'm making sure that the doubled-up file or subfolder that caused the error is gone for sure. Ok, the plugin folder is now deleted, so I can exit FileZilla and go back to my WordPress dashboard. And when I go to Plugins up here, we can see that there is a notice saying this theme requires the following plugin, WP Bakery. So to reinstall the plugin I deleted, I can use this link here, Begin Installing Plugin. But if you don't see this message for some reason, you can go to Appearance, Install Plugins. And from here you can install WP Bakery or whichever plugin caused the issue. It's finished and I'll go back to the Plugins Installer so I can activate it. Just click on the link and there. The plugin was successfully activated and you can navigate to the plugin section to double check that. Now when I check the WP Bakery page builder, I can see it's running its latest version. So now we've updated all the plugins that came with the theme as well as the theme itself. But there's one last thing we need to do. Navigate to select options and then click on save changes. By doing this, you generate a new static CSS file for your site. Sometimes when you update your theme or when you import it for the first time, you might notice that the custom settings and options haven't taken effect. If this happens to you, you should simply go to Select Options and click on Save Changes. That's all. The new CSS file will be generated and that will take care of that. So in this video, we covered how to update your Stockholm site and how to update the bundled plugins. If you'd like to be notified about upcoming videos, you can subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please drop us a line in the comments below. Thank you for watching.